like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. If you are an avid traveler, then you probably have a bucket list of destinations you want to visit. While you can travel to most corners of the world if you can afford it, there are some places that are off limits no matter how financially stable you are, and for good reason. Let's find out what those places are. 10 Forbidden Places You're Not Allowed to Visit Number 10. Surtsey Island, Iceland Surtsey is a volcanic island located in the Vestmanech archipelago off the southern coast of Iceland. On November 14, 1963, a volcanic eruption began 130 meters or 426 feet below sea level. The volcanic eruption lasted for a period of four years, resulting in the formation of this island. The island's name came from the word Sutur, derived from Norse mythology. Surtsey Island is one of the newest additions to the geography of Earth, and so entry is limited to only those who are authorized. This allows the natural ecological succession to continue. In an attempt to prevent any influence from outsiders, only a few scientists are allowed to land on the island. In 2008, UNESCO declared Surtsey a world heritage. Number 9. North Brother Island, USA Located in New York City's East River between the mainland Bronx and Rikers Island, North Brother Island is one of the most popular abandoned locations in New York. North Brother Island was chosen as the site for the Riverside Hospital back in the 1850s. It primarily served as a location to quarantine and treat patients suffering from smallpox. Later, however, it served as quarantining sites for other diseases, such as typhoid, tuberculosis, and polio. North Brother Island was also the home to Typhoid Mary, the first American to ever carry typhoid fever. Later, this place was used as a rehabilitation center for drug addicts. Currently, the island serves as a bird sanctuary for birds such as herons and other wading shorebird species. The extremely dilapidated buildings, open manholes, and other dangerous circumstances deem the area uninhabitable. If you want to visit the island for educational or scientific research, you would need permits. In addition, you'd need to take extreme precaution to not get crushed beneath the debris of ruins that may fall from above as you're walking along the dock. Number 8. Ise Grand Shrine, Japan Japan is a country known for its scenic infrastructures and beautiful shrines. One such shrine is the Shrine of the Sun Goddess Amaterasu, located in the Ise Mie Prefecture in Japan. The shrine has a unique style of architecture called Yuitsu Shinmeizukuri, which is unique to the shrine and found nowhere else. The shrine buildings are rebuilt every 20 years as a part of the Shinto belief of the death and renewal of nature, for the impermanence of all things, and as a way of passing building techniques from one generation to the next. The 20-year renewal process is called the Shikinin Singu. Thus, in order to preserve its dignity and to defend itself from damage and wear and tear, entry is prohibited. Only the members of the imperial family and chief priestesses who inherit the position and are members of the royal family of Japan are allowed entrance. Number 7. The Tomb of Chen Shi Huang, China Let's continue on our tour to Southeast Asia and talk about the mausoleum of China's first ever Qin Emperor. Located in Lintang District, Xi'an Shanxi Province of China, the tomb of Qin Shi Huang is one of the greatest discoveries made. The tomb is said to have all the essentials and necessary items the king may need during the afterlife. However, an impressive army of over 8,000 terracotta warriors is located near the tomb. Not much is known about the tomb. Archaeologists and historians have yet to unravel the many mysteries concerning the tomb and the necropolis surrounding it. But in 1987, UNESCO declared the mausoleum, as well as the terracotta warriors, a World Heritage Site. In order to pay respect to the ancient site, the Chinese government has prohibited excavation and entry of commoners. Number 6. Kravsika Brana the Czech Republic is a beautiful country, but it also houses one of the most beautiful landmarks in the world known as the Pravsika Brana. If you have seen the movie The Chronicles of Narnia, then chances are you have already seen a few glimpses of this picturesque place, as the first installation of the chronology was shot there. Its wide proportions and dimensions give it the reputation of the largest natural sandstone arch in Europe. In 1881, Prince Edmund of Clary Aldringdon built the hotel Falcon's Nest with a housing capacity of 50 beds. Due to heavy erosion by visitors, the arch has been restricted to visitors since 1982. However, if you still want to catch a glimpse, you may visit the location during opening times in an exchange for a small entry fee. Number 5. Poveglia, Italy 
Our next forbidden location is situated in the picturesque land of Italy. The island of Poveglia is an island located off the coast of northern Italy, between Venice and Lido in the Venetian lagoon. The island was once inhabited, until residents fled during warfare, leading to its abandonment. Starting from 1776, the island was used to quarantine those with contagious ailments, diseases, and plague. It is said that over 100,000 people lost their lives over the course of a century. Poveglia was not shut off to visitors due to remnant germs and viruses, but because of the dark history history associated with the island. In the 1800s, a mental asylum was built there, which quickly became an institution for the mentally ill. With the island being isolated, a doctor took advantage and performed many scientific experiments on patients, some as cruel as lobotomies. The doctor later met his demise by jumping from the bell tower, an act forced onto him by the ghosts at the hospital. Residents nearby say that they hear the ring of the bell, even though the bell was removed years ago. The mental hospital closed in 1968. The island has been vacant since. The fact that more than half of the soil consists of human remnants, and considering the tragedies that took place and the haunted history of the place, very few people dare enter the island. Number 4. Doomsday Vault, Norway if a sudden apocalypse were to take place, wiping away most of the plant, animal, and human population, would the organic life on Earth teeter on the brink of extinction? Fear not, as the world is ready to fight if that were to actually happen. The Svalbard Global Seed Vault, also known as the Doomsday Vault, is a storage facility that stores seeds from the world's diverse crops. Situated in the heart of the Arctic Svalbard archipelago, it is a facility with high security and samples of seeds of crops from every part of the world in an attempt to deal with an apocalypse or global crisis. The facility can store an estimated number of about 4.5 million seed samples. Furthermore, the facility has also won the Norwegian Lighting Prize in 2009 and claimed sixth place on Time's Best Inventions in 2008. Due to the sensitive nature of the facility, entry and visitations are limited to guests and special visitors. Number 3. Snake Island, Brazil Brazil is home to tropical bonanzas and colorful festivities, but off the coast of Brazil floats an island with a tropical climate and rich forestry and a population of deadly ophidians. Snake Island, just as the name suggests, is an island in Brazil inhabited not by people but by thousands and thousands of snakes. The deadliest and most lethal species of snakes, the golden lanceheads, are found on the island. Their venom is so potent that a human bitten by this snake can die within 60 minutes. As deadly as lanceheads are, the threat is further aggravated by the residents of various other deadly venomous species. Here's two examples of how deadly this island is. A lighthouse situated on the island required an operator. However, the operator and his family family died after stray snakes entered their abode through open windows. In addition, a fisherman's body was found all bruised and covered with cuts. Ever since, the Brazilian government declared venturing to the island illegal. No humans go to the island and it is regarded as a forbidden place. So unless you want to break some international laws and make some serpentine friends, you might want to steer clear of the island. Number 2. Lesco Cave, France Another World Heritage Site makes it onto our list as the number two position. The Lesco Caves of France is a network of caves situated near the village of Montagnac in southwestern France. The cave was discovered accidentally by an 18-year-old youth called Marcel Ravidat when his dog fell into a hole. He returned to the site with three other friends and entered the caves through a shaft believing that the passage would lead to the Lesco Manor. They discovered that the cave was covered in numerous illustrations all across its walls. Certain walls that contain similar illustrations of objects or animals are given names, such as the bulls, the passageway, the shaft, the nave, the apse, and the chamber of felines. The Lesco Cave is a site of rich information and treasure for archaeologists around the globe. The cave complex houses prehistoric paintings that are 17,300 years old. The series of Paleolithic paintings that are still covered by vivid shades cover the walls and depict animals like cattle, stags, bison, and so forth. However, due to the risks exposed to the cave because of carbon dioxide, heat, humidity, and other contaminants produced by the visitors, the real caves are off-limits. But for art enthusiasts and interested people, you may quench your thirst by going to see the replica caves that scientists made for research and study purposes. Number 1. Sentinel Island, India Ever wondered what it feels like to live completely away from strangers, unbothered from the events going on in the outside world? 
Well, there are a group of people who live in isolation away from modernization and the outside world. Coming in at number one is the Sentinel Islands, one of the Andaman Islands of the Bay of Bengal. Although it falls under Indian territory, the Indian government has recognized the island's inhabitants' desire to live without any involvement from the outside world. The islanders do not welcome any visitors, and anyone overstepping their boundaries has rarely made it back to where they came from. In 1967, a team of anthropologists led by Trilakanath Pandit made contact with the people. They could never venture too far into the islands, and since contact was so limited, no means of vocal communication could be established. Pandit and his team left gifts during their sporadic tours, a gesture that was never returned. But they did, however, enjoy the coconuts and metal utensils. However, an American John Allen Chow ventured into the islands in an effort to spread Christianity. After being chased off by the people twice, he was killed by the Sentinelese by arrows. So, if you ever get stranded on an island in the Andaman, make sure you think twice before trying to make friends with its inhabitants. That's it for today's video! After hearing about these places, do you want to visit any of them? Why? Let us know in the comments! Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more videos like this! See you next time!